This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is reports in plan maintenance. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover, they are, you will see various types of reports in PM module, different master data reports, different transactional data reports, and usage reports, and we will see the PMIS reports, plan maintenance information system reports. So these are the ones we will be covering in uh, today's topic. Okay. So basically, uh, normally in the in the plan maintenance module, we have three types of reports. Okay. One is master data reports. Okay. So master data reports are like your technical objects reports. Your technical objects are nothing but like functional location, equipment. Okay. Those things. Okay. Then work center, work center reports. Okay. Then you are uh, preventive maintenance related ones, task list, maintenance plans. So those kind of reports. All these comes under master data reports. Okay, we will see this. We will go to the system and we will see the reports. How to execute a report? All those things we will cover. Next one is the transactional data reports. Okay, so transactional data reports are basically your notifications and orders. Okay, so these are the day-to-day -day reports basically. Every day, the maintenance planners or supervisors, they will execute these reports because these are transactional data reports. Okay, now the last one is the PMIS reports. These are like, like evaluations. Okay, so these are not executed daily. These are executed at the month end, okay, or at the year end. Okay, normally the managers will execute these reports higher level people like maintenance manager, uh, plant head, plant manager, or company vice president, okay, CEO. So those kind of people execute these reports. PMIS, plant maintenance information reports. Like they want to see maintenance costs uh, total for the entire year. Okay, so if they want that kind of reports, they will execute this, okay? So these are the three types of reports we have. Master data reports, transactional data reports, and PMIS reports. These are the reports we have. Okay, we will see one by one. Okay, so so first one is the master data reports. Reports. Next one is the transactional data reports. Okay, third one is the PMIS reports, plan maintenance information system reports. Okay, so now first we'll start with the master data reports. Okay. okay. So, uh, to go to the reports, first I'll show you the nav menu path. Open the logistics, open plan maintenance, open this. First, let's go to the master data reports. See here, management of technical objects. Open this. Okay, here you have all our master data objects. Okay, so now let's say you want to see the uh, functional location reports. So, normally what they will do is they'll open this folder. Here you see there are some reports, list ADT folder, open this. Here normally you will have some reports. Okay, here you will have some reports. Okay, so, but here the problem is we are here we are able to see normal transactions and also report related transactions. But let's say I want to see only the reports. I want to see here only the reports. Okay, so for that what you can, what you can do is once you log into the system, once you log into the system, you need to enter in the command field SAP1. Okay, the moment you enter SAP1 here in the command field here, here, system will display only the reports. It will not display the other normal transactions like create, change, those things it will not display. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you. So on the command field, let's enter SAP1. Okay, you have to enter SAP1. 
and just click on the button enter see now if you go to plan maintenance here if you go management of technical objects okay now you see we are getting only the reports now not other other uh, transactions like uh, il01 il02 or ie01 create change ones see now you see we are getting only the reports only the reports it's a simple simple method basically okay but anyhow uh, let's go one by one so i'll go to the normal view let me log off once i will log in again let's go through one by one okay okay so first we will start with the our what is our first master data object master data object work center normally we created work center work center okay so now let's see some reports in the work center okay go to logistics go to plan maintenance management of technical objects open this okay here of course work center is not getting displayed here you go to environment open this here you have work center open this here work center okay here this is our evaluation hierarchy not this one this one okay here the most widely used one is cr05 so normally to see one work center what t code we used so normally cr03 to see one a single work center but let's say you want to see all the work center list okay then normally the used most widely used report is this one, cr05 double click you will get this one work center list okay here you need to enter let's say i want to see all the reports in the plant thousand in this plant thousand so enter the plant thousand and just execute it it will display all the reports all the work centers in this plant here you see this is the work center code plant its category responsible person and its description and from this you can navigate to the particular work center suppose let's say i want to see this one select this one put the cursor on that one just click on the button choose it will take you to cr03 cr03 sorry we used ir03 right sorry it is ir03 okay but what we can do is now go back suppose let's say i want to see only the work centers which are created with category uh, what do you call it? plan maintenance we used category 005 plan maintenance correct now so select this now it will display all the work centers in this plant created with this category category okay and now just execute see now you will be getting only the work centers created with this category see all our 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 uh, work centers okay you see here now as usual as i explained further you can select this suppose let's say i want to see this so put the cursor on that click on the button display it will take you to that work center okay so now let's say i want to see only the work centers okay in this plant with this category and let's say i am the responsible for some work centers i am responsible so for that i want to see so now you click on the list here you give the person responsible let's say this one i am mechanical supervisor enter this one, triple zero now it will display all the work centers in this plant created for plan maintenance category and who is having person responsible this one so now if we exit see these are the ones okay now we will talk about creation of variant suppose let's say you want to take this report on a daily basis okay so now every day normally when you when you come here normally what happens is it will come like this actually it will come like this okay it will come like this so now every time you have to enter here plant thousand you have to enter category okay and you have to enter person responsible every day you need to enter so this is a time consuming activity so for this you need you can create a variant variant so what you can do i'll show you how to create a variant variant so what you can do first enter the information here 
and just save at the at the top save as variant save it it will ask variant name okay seven underscore pm okay 